This is the final. This is where the men are separated from the boys, and the strongest of all will be decided. Are you ready to witness history in the making? Let's get it on. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. And today, I want to talk about um, Street Fighter Duel. Why I'm why well one why I'm still playing it. Two why am I so hard on the developers about the game? And three where we're at in the game. So uh, one why am I still playing the game? I still think that the game has a lot of value to offer, whether you are a free-to-play player, a minnow, a guppy, a dolphin, a whale, whatever. I, again, full disclosure, I have spent money on the game. I have bought a few of the legendary characters, uh, and I've also bought um, a few of the... Um, anyway, I can call it is... Um, progress packs is anyone can call it basically once you've completed certain levels you unlock certain amount of crystal uh, a certain amount of diamonds for free i bought those mostly so that i could get to unlock divination early so that i could unlock the man you see on the screen <laughs> yes m bison uh some of you guys may or may not know i am a huge m bison fan i'm a huge m bison player way back from the days of street fighter 2 rainbow edition um yes that's an old hacked korean version of street fighter 2 where you could play as the final four bosses so that's vega and bison sagat and um ball rock and i have always 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 been a huge fan of m bison all the way back into the days of like i said street fighter 2 and up i just don't think it, they give him they do him enough justice in this game uh, same as i don't think that they do enough justice for some of the other fighters in the game and i've made that uh, abundantly clear as to why i don't like it now let's see i've got 50 what am i going to spend it on you know i'll spend it on a plus two crystal there we go now i'm going to go into my roster you guys can take a look uh, we have had a lot of upgrades done to the fighters. As you can see, we now have quite a lot of fighters that are four stars, uh, three stars, two, you know, and up. Um, we find, I miraculously somehow managed to get, and I'm not even joking, I pulled four Kames, okay, from one of the events where you can get um, A-class fighter cards. I got four of them, and all four gave me Kame. And they were the four that I needed to get Kame to five stars. So I don't need any more Kames. Uh, I also, as you can see, I've got Blanco at five stars. So that also means that now I can, in theory, um, like I said, I bought Flame Chung Lee. I've bought some legendaries. Uh, again, Flame Chung Lee, you, you get legendary Blanco for, for fashion Blanco for free. But I have bought Flame Chung Lee. Now, as you can see, I did also get got gormangler ken not that i use him he's useless um same as uh, virgil again don't care i just wanted him for the collection and no i don't have the the legendary one that you should have bought do i care about that no because they released the fighter at a point here in the uk where my funds were already pre-managed and i just couldn't afford to buy him at the price that they wanted um and so didn't get him don't want him what i am working on right now like i said is i'm planning on getting my m bison to triple s i already have i think three or four of his vehicles um if we go here and we go to vehicle warehouse there you go there's one two three 
yeah, I've got three of these vehicles already. Um, right there, boom, boom, and boom. So, like I said, I've already got, you know, half the majority of what I need for him there. I've already got his um, fighting spirit maxed out to 30 uh, again. And it shows, it shows in the game. It shows when I, when I trigger his abilities. Um, so, yeah, I just... A lot of people don't seem to understand how to use use fighters like M. Bison. And yes, that is his laugh. Um, quite a lot of people don't know how to use M. Bison correctly. Now, the only thing equipment-wise that I need to work on for M. Bison is his gloves. Uh, because these are not uh, powered for Infernal, as you can see. So, therefore, he's not getting a passive 30% bonus. Um, see, this is what a lot of people don't seem to understand. When it comes to equipment... Now, I'll... I'll do a, a rough understanding of equipment for you guys when it comes to equipment if you can match the uh faction bonus to the fighter they get a passive 30 percent bonus so if you can get all four pieces that's a passive 30 percent bonus not 30 percent each i wish it was but it wasn't it's a 30 percent in total so now you know why if you're coming across a team that's the same fighter roster as you in PvP and they're beating you and you're thinking, how can this be? Now you know. Now, also, pay attention to the bonds that they have. See, I at first thought that this was something like a, a team bonus thing, if you will. Like if you have Rose, Kame, Abel and Evil Ryu in the squad with him, you unlock extra bonuses, but that's not the case. And unfortunately, I was thinking, how could we make um, Street Fighter Duel better? And then it hit me. Faction bonuses. We've already got things like uh, the rock, paper, scissors when it comes to the elements. And what I mean by that is if you look and go to uh, any, any of the Supreme Fists, whatever, yeah, and you look at how they work it out. Okay. So say I want to challenge these guys. And we want to take a look. So if you click on this, this will tell you that the, the little bonus is here. Okay. So the enemy have a four bonus faction. Okay. Well, what is stopping them from adding in a team faction? Now, what I mean by that is if we look at the the actual games roster so if we go here and we go to gallery okay we can see that there are fighters from all across the genres all across the games so case in point if if slash when they add balrog okay that's four all four of the final four so if your lineup consisted of m bison vega sagat and balrog okay What's stopping you from having, like, the final four as a faction bonus? You know, and it gives them all the unique ability. On top of what they already get. Okay, case in point. You've got Ryu, Ken, okay? you got Mad Ryu, not that he's actually a thing. Oh, you could call him Kokagi, but point is, then you've got Evil Ryu, you've got Akuma, and you're adding Goken. You could do something there. Have a team of those put together. You know, you could do something there. Um, I know that Gen has a history with Chung Li. Um, and so does Vega. Vega actually killed Chung Li's father in the anime moot in the Street Fighter manga. Um, and it is documented that it is Vega, not M. Bison, that killed Chung Li's father. Okay, but for some reason, Chung Li seems to think that it, it's M. Bison that did it. It wasn't, it was Vega. But point is you've also got several people from mad gear you've got guy you've got cody okay so you've got guy cody mayor cody hugo rulento poison street poison you're just missing people like sodden like where the hell is sodden sodden should be in the game now if you don't guys don't know who sodden is sodden blue helmet nfl linebacker thinks he's japanese uses uh, uh rafael style size in his attacks was in street fire alpha okay mostly known for for um using slide attacks very similar to by uh, to ball rocks charge punches and grapples very similar to zangief he's a bit of a hybrid fighter i would love to see him in here you've got young you've got yang you've got 
uh, Abel, you got Yong Yang, um, Elena, Hokito, uh, uh, um, uh, sorry, Makito. Why don't you have those four together and have it be a Street Fighter 3 thing? Uh, hell, you've even got Dudley. Again, you could make that a Street Fighter 3 thing. Um, you could add Fei Long, Kame, T Hawk, and DJ. And guess what? That's Street Fighter. Uh, that's Super Street Fighter Three. A uh, uh, Super Street Fighter Two as a as a all together thing. You know, um, Ryu and Sakura. You could put them together and give them a thing. Why? Because Sakura looks up to Ryu. She started learning uh, uh, Sasuke no Hoken, which is their version of Street Fighter. Uh, their version of what Ryu does. You know, which is why her Hadoukens don't. Do their thing. Same as same as Dan. Okay, you could add Dan and Blanca, put them together on a team, give them a pa- give them a passive ability bonus. You know, you can take some of these, you know, fighters that are all. I mean, no one who gives a, a, a crap about the meta even bothers using Blanca. Only the only reason why they use Blanca is because he's got super armor. Okay, and mo- most stuns don't affect him. That's it. That's the only thing going for Blanca. Not fashion Blanca, just regular Blanca. So he doesn't get played. Okay, Zangief, as tanks wise, okay, everyone says, oh, Zangief's the best tank. He's not. E Honda is. Okay, and you want to know why? E Honda actually gets a passive heal in his skills. If you look at his skills, okay, right there, desperation. When you get desperation to trigger, okay, and you've maxed out his spirit. He gets. A, he even gets a firewall to stop projectiles. So people like Evil Ryu, uh, a Mad Ryu, do nothing to him, and he can just steamroll them. He also becomes immune to stuns with his vehicles. So all in all, it comes down to the fact that a lot of people, because you know, I'm, and I'm not blaming other YouTube content creators. Bear in mind, I am not shooting shots at, at Pain Blade. I love Pain. Pain, you're awesome. You two, uh, 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 same, same, same as Kokagi. I, I, you know, Hazark. I've got nothing but the deepest respects for you guys. Your content has actually helped me become a better player in the game. So thank you. Much love to you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But what I'm saying is, you know, there are some fighters in this game. They get completely overlooked, even by the developers. Okay, like like let, let's take a look at the newest fight they added, Mummy Dalsim. Okay, it's basically just regular Dalsim, only he doesn't do fire; he does poison and dark damage. So, okay, what does that mean? That means he goes perfect with people like M. Bison and Yuri. Okay, seriously. Okay, so Dalsim. Here, you know, let's put let's put together a, a, a team real quick. Yeah, level three fifty five. Don't care. Let's challenge. I'm gonna get my ass, my butt kicked. Don't care because I'm just proving a point. Okay. Now, I'm gonna leave M Bison up front. The reason why I'm gonna leave M Bison up front because it's M freaking Bison. Okay. You always want to leave M Bison up front, and you always pair M Bison with Kame. Why? Because of his trigger ability. Even if he, he even if he doesn't end the combo, he still pops. Kame still comes in and has a chance to do an armor break to the target. You know, plus his AOE, pop, 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 plus his soul ability, then plus his vehicles. I've seen fights get ended damn near instantly at the beginning of the game because Bison triggers. Not even joking. Not even joking. Okay, so now let's take a look at the infernal characters that would that would benefit from it. Well, obviously, Jury. Jury would benefit from, from Dalsim's abilities. Okay? And Bison would benefit from that. And then last but not least, Deprete. There you go. Why? Because her her abilities, and we can even look at her abilities. Okay. Look at her skills. Let's take a look at her super. Super combo can be unleashed anywhere in the chain of 1, 2, and 3. Teleport consecutively stab the target 9 times, dealing soul damage equal to 483% of the attack in total, and triggers execute if the target is below 40% of its maximum hit points. Okay? So in theory, she can just... And I mean full-on just... You're done. Okay? 
Increased damage to 505, reduce the, re reduce the attack effects of to 15% when execute fails to knock out an enemy target. So even if she fails to, to kill the target, she then get, hits them with an attack negative of 15%. Okay? So, yeah, she's perfect. Now, if you actually look at her other abilities, her passives, fills super combo gauge by 200 ex when executes knocks out a target, fills super gauge by another 300 when execute knocks out a target, uh, Deprete gains 20% increase attack during the battle when execute knocks out a target, stacks up to three times. So, yeah, eventually she's just going to keep stacking up, stacking up, stacking up, stacking up, stacking up, stacking up, while she's still literally chipping away and then bison's ability there are some combos that you can do out there you go guardian mark okay advanced well in purple flame striking target at lowest hit points percentage four times doing soul damage equal da -da -da -da, and give guardian mark okay guardian mark when taking damage this unit has a 20 percent chance to receive true soul damage equal to 60 percent of her attack and it lasts eight seconds okay now stack that on on top of what mummy dalsim does okay now, yeah, my mummy Dalsim's not even remotely ready to be used. Okay, I, I mean, I haven't even uh, leveled him up or anything. But point is, just take a look at what he can do. Okay, buff. Uh, gains toxic ring stats for 15 seconds. Toxic ring when attacked. There's a 15% chance base to flick one poison on the attacker when uh, when attacking. Do a da additional damage equal to 97% of an attack last 15 seconds. If toxic ring or toxic spirit is active, attacks have 5% base chance to inflict one poison on enemy targets. If toxic ring or toxic spirit is active, attack has an 8% chance to inflict. Do you see what I'm saying? It just stacks and stacks, okay? Now, poison reduces the speed by 8 when using this skill and loses 1% of max hit points capped to 80% of the poisoner's attack. Okay, stacks up to 10 times lasts 15 seconds. Base chance affected by the accuracy and it affects their resistance. So if he, if this does proc, okay, your enemy's resistance to Deprete's execute just went got cut in half. So that 40% chance she's got now is now an 80% chance. Okay. Like I said, all you've got to do is stack and know how to stack. Okay, now let's take a look at it. See, it's just Yoga, Yoga Inferno. Okay, only it does poison and has a base chance of poisoning set at 16%. And it does true soul damage. Okay, which means it ignores defense. Okay, this one has a chance. This one, yeah. Uh, 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 the explosion has a 100% base chance to inflict poison. So you're going to poison them. So you've automatically lowered their resistance. So Deborah Tay can do her thing. Okay, if the target is hit by explosion at least five by at least five times poison the explosion has 100 percent base a chance to inflict a stun okay so uh, nazi's passive okay and then pharaoh's law trust me mummy dalsim once he is set up correctly with this team dear dear lord so all i need to say is just 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 dear lord De just dear lord okay now bear in mind like i said none of my characters are set up for this yeah, this is this is a combo build I'm working on to counter the current meta. Okay, the current meta being, of course, M Bison, uh, uh, um, um, Beast Zangief, and 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 the normal. Now, this is where the pairing comes in. Okay, now you want to pair Chung Li. Now, the reason why, if you look at Chung Li's Chung Li's uh, 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 um, assist. Now, bear in mind, I've only got her to eighteen. I could get her to twenty. You know, but I don't want to right this second. Now, uh, uh, effect is set in the assist position, a uh, fighter receives 15% of Chung Li's crit, okay, and uh, and increases damage bonus of each attack stack of armor break to 5%. So, guess what? This Chung Li stacks with him, stacks with stacks with Kame, stacks with M. Bison. Now, if you really truly want to throw in a what the F tuckery, okay, you look at Guile. Not combat guile, regular guile. Okay? You look at regular guile. Now, why regular guile? Because Saber Kick replaces Somersault Explosion. This kick sends out a, a sonic blast that strikes multiple targets within, ra within range two times, dealing damage equal to 522% of attack to each of them and inflicting an armor break guarantee and consumes one saber when possible to increase this skills damage by 20% at three sabers 
Okay. So you start your combo with him, get the saber stacks, okay, and then just let it roll on. Now, bear in mind, like I said, even my guy was not set up, as you can see. He's not set up with the correct gear either. Again, this is just something, these are just combos and ideas that I'm, I'm coming up with and thinking of on the fly. Okay, guys? So bear in mind, these are just what I'm thinking of and what I... See, and this is the one thing that the game pra lacks. It lacks the ability to practice combos that you want to try out. Okay, I would like a, a practice area in like the dojo where you can put a team together and practice against you know targets that can't take you know that, that that take the damage you know kind of thing that is something i would like to see added into the game so that way players can explore new team ideas okay that's all that's all i want to see is i just want to see new team ideas now if i truly 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 wanted to do i would throw b sangeef in there I would swap out, again, I'm going to swap out, where is he? I'm going to swap out Guile for, for Poison Zang, for, for Dawson, okay? And so let's look at our combos, how we're going to start this combo off. Obviously, you've got to start off with the buff, then we'll start off with Deprete, Stun, there. Now, there's a reason why we're starting off like that, because you need Dawson's buff to go off, Okay. Then you need Deprete to do her thing with an 80% chance of knocking out the target. While Beast and Geef groups them together and then Bison then knocks them out the park. Okay, now by that stance there's a high chance you're going to lose Beast and Geef. So then we're going to swap out, swap out to this one. To this combo instead. Okay. Again, Deprete, AoE, AoE. In that order. So we start off with this one and then we end up with the M. Bison one. Again, I know this team's not going to win because, again, the reason why is because my, my mummy Dalsim's too weak. Okay, mummy Dalsim does his buff. Deprete does her thing. Does his thing. Now we swap over to M. Bison. Pop, 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 pop. There's the armor break stacks. Yeah, see, like I said, I knew I, knew, I, knew I wasn't going to win because, again, my mummy Dalsim's not ready. But for, the point is... For a mummy Dalsim that's not even leveled up, look at what we did. For a Deprete that's not five stars, look at what we did. For the incorrect equipment as well that's also equipped onto my mummy Dalsim, look at the damage that we did. Okay, I'll even replay it. Okay, at one speed. So, Dalsim buffs. Deprete goes in. She crits only once. There's all those stuns. Bam, 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 bam. Goes in. Mummy Dalsim does his thing. Now, again, Mummy Dalsim and, 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 and got knocked out. But the point is, look at what the poison's done. The true damage. Do you see that? Look at the true damage. Okay. We got... Literally both Maya Cody's to half health. Okay. And like I said, that Dalsim isn't even leveled up once. That's a basic A mummy Dalsim. Okay. Now let's take a look at his gear real quick. And you, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. So go, go to here. Mummy Dalsim promote. He's got green gauntlets on. Now imagine him with with the, the correct soul ability and the correct gear. Okay, so if I wanted to, to change this out, change out his gear, let's take a look. What do I have? Uh, see, like I said, even even my Deprete doesn't have ma the, the right level gear for the job. Do you see? I don't have the correct tech gear. So think about it for a second. If I was to have the correct gear on him with some levels in his soul, soul, soul ability, I could have won that fight pretty easy. 
So you can do it, guys. You don't necessarily need to spend ridiculous amounts of money in the game. Okay? And everyone's like, yeah, but you've got M. Bison. Okay? You can do the same with pretty much uh, Fashion Blanca. Or even E. Honda as your front tank. Again, again, as I said to you, the only reason why I'm I'm doing these sort of build, these these off the wall builds, non meta builds, is so that you guys can experiment because I want you to experiment. This goes out to this shout this shout out goes out to my clan. Okay, this goes out to the Hellhounds. Okay, this goes out to my clan. This goes out to my guild, the Hellhounds. Okay, I'm gonna do a big shout out to to. Savo Cookie to Oro to Gas Orbiter, a big shout out to you guys because you guys come ask me all the time for, for absolute random build ideas. Well, here's your absolute random build idea, guys. All right, and that's one of the reasons as to why I still play this game. Okay, the fact that the devs are listening, the fact that they have chosen to listen, and yeah, I, 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 and I, I've made a promise that I'm not going to put any more money into the game, and I haven't. Okay, I haven't put any more money into the game. Okay, and I'm not going to, not for a very long while. And there's a reason why. And it's not because again, this is this is a meta team. Okay, this this is a meta team that you see here. Okay, now most people would swap out uh, Chung Li for, for, for Guile. So, where are you? There you are. Let's, let's throw Guile in there. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Pop, 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 pop. Burn it down. Okay, one's dead, one's dead. She's got a saber stack. Da 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 da. Ba ba bomb. Ba ba bomb. All three dead. Okay, and this is the the meta team, if you will, for for doing uh, this. Now, again, I'm gonna look. There we go. Got it. That's it. I won. I've got the perfect roll straight away. Curse. Go with the go with with Gulkin's curse because enemies are executed when they fall below fifteen percent. It's hundred percent guaranteed. This affects affects bosses. It it affects everyone. Okay, so now all I've got to do is just get them down to 15% and not worry about them countering. Not even joking. Okay, three, two, one, pop, 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 pop. I do this. Damn, dead. Bam, see? Lightning bolt went off. She died instantly. Dead, dead, dead. And pop, 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 dead. And dead. There you go. They didn't even get to counter. They didn't even get to counter. So. I've won. They didn't even get to counter. Uh, you know, yeah. Give me, let's see. Can I get uh, any higher than that? Uh, see, it gave me curse again. Uh, Stuns reminded me of 15 seconds. I've got the last 15 seconds. Uh, we'll go with life still. Now, again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that that skill. Let's see. No one in there that I want. So I'll heal up. Not that I need to heal. Uh, let's see what's in here for sale. Uh, nothing in there that I want. Who's up here? Nothing up there that I want. So we'll, we'll go here and then quit. Excuse me. And so this is how you can do Shadow Shadow Law, Shadow City pretty quick. Dead, 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 dead. There you go. Okay. Oh. We'll do the burn. Uh, I'll heal. See, this that's pretty much it. You've once you get those that that execute card. And you'd think a, a card that powerful wouldn't be on Go Goken, it would be on Akuma. But uh, no, it's it's on good old good old Goken. See? Yeah, I'll take that. Attack and life still. Yeah, Dad is gonna do his punch first, so let him do it. 
All I did was just pop the shield. Now watch. Pop, 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 pop. Burn it down. Execute, execute, execute. Execute, execute, execute. Done. See? And again, my Viper's not even two. My Viper's not even two stars. Gain thirty percent attack each. There you go. Now, if I want to kill this boss quicker than snot, I swap out Crimson Viper for Mad Ryu. And then swap out Guile for Chong Li. Go to AOEs. Do, 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 like so. And you'll see why. Three, two, one. Pop, 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 pop. Burn in. Aftershock. Whack, whack, whack. Does its thing. Do, 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 do. Bonk, bonk. And. Game over. Boss is defeated. See? And we'll, we'll take the 80% healing. And that's how you do it, guys. And and I I've done. I'm done. I could I can choose to to go to the higher levels now and just breeze through it, or I can choose to stick with the regular levels and breeze through it. It doesn't bloody matter, okay? Um, but like I said, that's the meta team, okay? And I don't want to do meta teams. I want to do teams that are off the wall and 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 completely make you realize, like, holy crap! You know where the hell did that come from? Okay, like everyone knows, with the Bushido battles, side with M. Bison. See, here you go. Just side with M. Bison. Always side with M. Bison. Okay, there's a reason why. That's because M. Bison has the better characters. Um, in FE, in uh, FE Clash, I buy these. And yeah, like I said, I bought these and I got four. Four. Of her. Four. Bop, 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 bop. Back to back to back to back to back. It was like the game was telling me, mm, you're maxing out Kami. I was like, alright, fine. I'll max out Kami. I was hopefully trying to get some poison some poison dosims. But, no. Game was like, nah, bruh. Um, if you look at my choice recruit, I have poison dosim selected. I have not got him. I've got four chances to pull him. But at 3k a pop, it better be a goddamn high chance. See, my problem is, I do not see the point of these green characters. I don't see the point of them. None of them have any any abilities worth a damn. None of them, uh, they're, they're literally just in the game to slow you down. Okay? I say, scrub them, get rid of them, and replace them with shards. I.e., shards of, of fighters... That you 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 stand a chance of, of wanting or getting instead, you you did that in the the Asian version of the game. How you even gave a shards of those crappy fighters? Why? You know, they're not they're not technically street fighters. They're not in Street Fighter or any version of Street Fighter. Not even Street Fighter One. You know, they're in none of them. And that's another thing. Where's where's Gil? Where's Alex? Where's Urin? Where's Twelve? Where's Oro? Where's you know? Uh, where's Dallin Dark? Where's where's Kyrie? Where's where's Hokuto? Where's freaking Cactus Jack? Uh, uh, well, C Jack. Where is um? There, there are so many missing Street Fighter characters that. Should Rufus shouldn't be in this game. I'm sorry. I get it. He has a little bit of a cult following, but Rufus should not be in this game. Rufus, if anything, should be in in the bottom classes, and you should need to you need to bump up Ryu and Ken from that that shitty tier tier list because that's just insulting to Ryu and Ken fans like me and my brother. My brother was always a Ryu fan. I was always a Ken fan. Okay, always have, always will be. Street Fighter 3, first character I completed that game with, Ken. Second person I completed that game with, Akuma. 
Third person I completed that game with uh, Alex. Fourth was Sheen. Fifth was Ryu. Um, the very last person I completed Street Fighter 3 Third Strike with was Elena or Hugo? Hugo no, Elena. It was Elena. It was Elena. But that's my whole point. I'm an avid Street Fighter fan, not even joking. I have an arcade fight stick. Right up there. Why? Because I play on Fightcade. All you got to do is look for Deceptive Cobra on Fightcade. And that's me. You'll find me. Poisons of Choice. Um, Super Muscle Bomber. Which I'm surprised there isn't any characters from that in this game. Because that would be awesome. Um, hell, even Mega Man. You know, add... add Mega Man and Zero into the game, you know. Um, if this, if you're gonna do, so, if you're gonna do collabs, this game's gonna end up like Capcom All Stars, and that was a big flop for Capcom because you were adding fighters from games that made no sense. I mean, for crying out loud, one of your other biggest sh like fighter genre IPs is Darkstalkers. Where the hell is any of the Darkstalkers? You should. You could have added Frankenstein, Dimitri, um, Morgan. Um, you know, you, uh, Hon Hon. Even you could add so many good fighters from Darkstalkers into this. Super Muscle Bombers. You could add Scorpio. You could have Gun. You could add Gunlock. You could add freaking. Uh, 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 um, you know, uh, Titan. You could add Hagar. Even where the hell is Hagar? You've got Cody, you've got Guy, you've got fucking Hugo. Where is Hagar? Come on, Capcom. Come on, Crunchyroll. Anyway, this video's been going on for far too long. I'm out. Deuces, and I hope you enjoy the video.